Hello everyone, my name is Dani Puritasari and I'm researcher in Indonesian Institute of Science, Indonesia. Uh, today I will present my final report for 2020 summer course about climate change and my title is about the effect of climate change on residential envelope design in Jakarta, Indonesia. So Indonesia is one of the most populous country in the world with ninth largest economy and in particular, if economic growth, carbon dioxide, emission that lead to be degradation in environmental quality. As reported in 2010 census conducted by Statistics Indonesia, 54.1% of Indonesian households are in urban area, which mean in particular, if economic growth causes carbon dioxide emission that lead to degradation in environmental quality. This can be shown in this graph, Jakarta, Indonesia mm -hmm. as a capital city increased temperature around one Celsius degree for 30 years, and this data is almost similar with NASA that show that of average um, global temperature increase around one until 1.5. And then the world is getting warmer. The average global temperature on Earth has increased by a little more than one until two Fahrenheit since uh, 1880. IPCC as an intergovernmental panel on climate change should explain that this climate change risks to all aspects, uh, not only in human, but also in health, lifestyle, water supply, and economic growth. If we look deeper on architecture point of view, this template rise directly effect on cities through heat wave. Cities with, will experience the worst impact of heat waves due to urban heat island that keep warmer than surround rural area. So for example, in Jakarta, heat is created by energy in all the people, car, buses, and trains. So housing in Jakarta mostly rely on lighting fixture and air conditioning. Since the outdoor air quality has become increasingly polluted and uh, high temperature. In increasing of built up area also make people require uh, use a lot of more energy or electricity, especially from fans and air conditioner. This show in this graph, the, the yellow one is air conditioner um, usage and the fan is the blue one. So many architects and designers suggest that uh, climate adaptive strategies are necessary for housing such as design of the skylight to increase the daylight or cross ventilation from opening to set. However, this design is consumed a lot of, uh, it's very expensive, especially at construction price. So the government decided to make the national houses, which design uh, to reduce the construction cost, cost and most of housing tend to change their style from top tropical design to modern style, which mean less opening. So the research proposed is, I would like to know how Indonesian housing adapt with this climate change from architect point of view through window wall ratio. And I would like to answer these two main questions first. Is there any relation between WWR and climate change. And then the second one is WWR is an important variable affecting energy performance in a building. From this research, uh, I using WWR equation. So window area will impact on the building cooling and lighting. The WWR is the measure of the percentage area determined by dividing the building total glass area and its exterior and wall area. So for this case, I choosing Jakarta as the capital city. And we can see the highest average temperature Jakarta is in 2015 around 29 Celsius and the lowest in 1988 around 27 Celsius. So I choose four different uh, style of houses. Uh, this all houses designed by Perumnas. Perumnas is national house from Indonesian government. And then this 
first house is designed a uh, house style from 1978 until 1990. And then the second house designed by uh, around 90 until 2000. And the third house around 2000 until 2010. And the last house design is from 2010 until 2020. And all the model is one story houses. And then all model was built by Indonesian government and then contains of one living room, one kitchen, two, one bathroom, and two bedroom. And then the height of the house is around three meters. So after choose the building, I calculate the WWR percentage. And we can see house uh, before 2000, the percentage is around 13 and 15 percent. This mean the uh, window area is larger than house that built or, uh, after 2000, which it's a more smaller window size. So this is because uh, the facet house also changed to maximize uh, our conditioning performance. So smaller window size, with me, it, it, that means smaller radiation from outside and can make uh, inside the house uh, cooler um, with more longer time if compared with a uh, largest window. So if we're using another validation analysis from ASHRAE standard uh, about thermal environmental condition for human occupancy, uh, in this standard, we can know, um, they suggest uh, what kind of uh, solution to give people more comfort in their own house. So we input the dat weather data to the standard and then we can get uh, some suggestion to design our home in tropical area. And this is the result. This is called psychometric chart and it suggests some design strategies to achieve thermal comfort. And the shaded region and color, which color uh, purple, it's, it's uh, the average comfort in tropical, especially in Jakarta. And then the lifestyle show the design strategies from January to December. If we want to build a house in Jakarta, at least we have to, uh, to put these uh, strategies to get 100% comfortable. If we look more deeper about this analysis, uh, there are three standards or three strategies to increase the human comfort in Jakarta. The highest one is design the cooling design, uh, cooling equipment inside the house. And the second one, design the sun shading in every window. And the third one, install the dehumidification. So um, the reduced size of WWR after 2000 is the adaptation strategies in Jakarta. So the result is linear between uh, WWR analysis and then from the SRA standard. Uh, this is why people tend to design, uh, uh, reduce the window size after 2000 because the uh, because the temperature increased gradually so the conclusion of my research is cooling device is the best strategies to achieve thermal comfort in Jakarta Indonesia and it is possible to see for facade located in tropical climate is very critical and then one strategy to reduce the electricity is install the high performance or air conditioning system and then WWR percentage is linear with temperature rising in Jakarta. So this means an installation of shading device is capable to preventing high increase in the energy use. So for the future research, I would like to give more variable for my research, not only WWR, but also uh, more detail about the location around Indonesia. And then uh, change to rotate the building, change the orientation, and then input more data about house material, building shape, 
zone size and zone location. Thank you.